Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, what we have here is a battery from U+. It's a 50 amp hour, 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. Okay, so let's see what we have. All right, as soon as you open it, we have, it looks like to be uh, a user manual which is nice, it's, uh, it's got warranty information, a warranty card, uh, some notes and notices, uh, how to connect in parallels and series, and your product information. All right, we also have a certificate of, uh, of quality control, so that's nice to see. Uh, and then we have a, a thank you. All right, and then we have a little bag with some uh, with some bolts and some uh, some caps for protection. All right, a thick piece of hard styrofoam, and then the battery. Okay, looking at this battery, it is very unassuming. Uh, it's just a black case battery. Uh, with a label on the front that says uh, U+, and it tells you that it's a 12.8 volt, 50 amp hour, 640 watt hour, uh, lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery. Um, and then there's a small label on the top. Everything else is uh, just jet black. Um, the one thing that I noticed right off the bat is uh, it does have these terminal cover, little plastic terminal covers right here, which is nice, um, but they use uh, M6 bolts. So they are, they are quite a bit smaller than what you would be used to with a um, M8 bolt configurated uh, battery. Because an M8 bolt, an M8 bolt looks like this, and here is the M6 bolt. So it is quite, quite a bit smaller. So that's, so that's something you have to keep into consideration is that uh, your, your terminal bolts are going to be, they're gonna be smaller. But to be honest, um, I wish they would have stuck with the M8 bolt uh, configuration, uh, just because I feel like these are dainty. I guess they're 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 small. I mean, they feel small. So, um, but let's go ahead and uh, check the voltage on this battery right out of the box and see what our voltage is, and then we're going to go ahead and charge it up and do a discharge test. And our starting voltage right out of the box is 13.19, so it's exactly where you want it to be. When you first receive a lithium iron phosphate battery, uh, it should never be fully charged or fully discharged. It should be floating right around 13.1 to 13.2. So let's go ahead and charge it up. What I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use my Hasido 25 amp charger. Uh, because that's what the recommended max is and uh, and then we'll do a discharge test. Alright, I went ahead and put this on my uh, Wamptec uh, DC power supply to uh, top it off at 14.4 uh, and while that's uh, going on I'm gonna go ahead and let you know a little bit more about the battery. Uh, like I said before it's a 12.8 uh, volt 50 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. When it comes to a full charge it is going to be uh, between 14.2 volts and 14.6 volts. And when it comes to charge cycles, uh, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna discharge it down to zero and uh, charge it up to 100%, you can do that 2,000 times. Uh, but if you're only gonna do an 80% discharge rate, which means uh, if you discharge it down to like 10% and then charge it up to 90%, uh, you could possibly get 5,000 cycles. Uh, the weight of this battery is uh, 6.3 kilograms or 13.8 pounds. Uh, the dimensions are uh, 7.8 inches across or 198 millimeters. It's 6.53 inches deep or 166 millimeters. And it's 6.69 inches tall or 170 millimeters. The max charging rate it is 25 amps and the max discharging rate is 50 amps. Okay, the battery is charged up to 14.39 volts, so we're gonna take it off and start the discharge test. All right, I've got the battery hooked up to the tester. 
And what I have over here is I have a, a discharge constant current of five amps and it's going to cut off when the battery gets down to 10 volts. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. All right, and there we go. Uh, this test, since it's a five amp test, it will take approximately 10 hours. So uh, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Okay, the battery test is complete, so let's go ahead and check out the results. All right, and what you can see right there is the capacity was 52.04 amp hours. So that is 4% uh, higher than what, they, uh, what they're selling it for, so that's excellent. And our energy is uh, 664.25 watt hours. And as you can see on the screen, uh, you know, it drops down from, from you know, 13.6 and it drops down to right around 13 and it holds at 13 all the way down to about 12.7 and then it starts dropping down to 12.5 and then right around 12.3 it really drops off uh, in that last section. But that's a, that's a really good curve for a lithium iron phosphate battery. And uh, this battery will be on my website and also all this data that I collect from these battery tests are also on my website. So you can always download the information or just download the image and, and uh, you, can, you can do a little bit of research for yourself if you'd like. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do with this battery is we're gonna see if we can run a roughly 600 watt load because this battery is rated for 50 amps and that means 50 amps at 12 volts. So it says that it can have uh, 640 watt hours and it says that it can, it can uh, discharge at 50 amps. So we are going to do a, a roughly a, a 50 amp discharge to see if it can hold that for like a half hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this uh, Lee Sky 2000 watt inverter which is way too big for this battery. Um, and I'm going to put this heat gun which is a, uh, it's a 600 watt, 1200 watt heat gun. So I'm gonna put it on low which should be the 600 watt setting. I'm gonna put it on low and we're just gonna see if we can run it for a half hour. So let's go ahead and get this stuff hooked up. <clears throat> and I did uh, fully charge this battery before this test to, to give it the best chance. Okay, so we're gonna plug in the plug in the heat gun and here we go. Put it on low. And hopefully, hopefully we're pulling right around, uh, right around 50 amps. So let's see. Yes, we are pulling 49.8 amps. So this is a perfect, a perfect test. So I'm gonna let this run for a half hour and I will come back and let you know what the results are. All right, well, this thing has been running for right at a half hour now. You know, I guess I should have set like a clock or something like that so you could actually see the half hour go by, but just trust me, it's been running for a half hour and it's been running at 49.6 amps. And I would say that that has passed with flying colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and crank this heat gun all the way up to 1200 watts and see what happens with the battery. See if it shuts off like it should or if it's just gonna keep running because it doesn't care. So let's go ahead and try that. All right, heat gun, heat gun in full blast right now. And we're pulling 114.2 amps right now. And the battery's still going. The inverter shows 1,080 watts.
All right, well, it's been running for about a minute now, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. All right, and I must say that these, oh. All right, and I must say that these, uh, these terminals are very hot to the touch, to the point where uh, it, it burns your fingers. So I definitely wouldn't want to push uh, over 100 amps to this battery for uh, an extended period of time, or actually 50 amps for that matter. But it does go to show that this thing can, uh, it can pump out 50 amps for a half hour, so that's excellent. Okay, so what do I think of the U plus 12 volt 50 amp lithium iron phosphate battery? Uh, you know what? It does exactly what they describe it to do. It is, uh, it's 50 amp hours. It's actually right around 52 amp hours. Um, it can uh, charge at 25 amps. It can discharge at a full 50 amps, which we just realized can, it can discharge 50 amps for a half hour. Um, you know, it's, it's only like what, I don't know, 12, 13 pounds, whatever. It's really small. And this little small form factor, this 50 amp battery is the same capacity as a 100 amp hour uh, lead acid battery, which weighs what, 50 pounds? I mean, you can't do this with a 50 pound lead acid battery. So uh, it, does, it does quite well for what you're getting. The one downside that I have with this is uh, these bolts. Uh, they're only M6. I feel like that, that, that's pretty small. Um, I, wish it, I wish they would actually put M8 bolts on here. So that's my one gripe is that these terminal bolts, in my view, are just a little bit too small. Uh, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, like I said, I'll have this battery on my website. I'll go ahead and put the, uh, the URL right here. And uh, I hope you all have a great night. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.